Yo, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Open Fixed Arena, playing Juggernaut in it because I thought that would be kind of fun because I got some new stuff I want to show you. So I know over the past few days this game has been kind of broken, um, but we figured out what the problem was, and it is now fixed, and the game now works fine again. There's no issues, right? Like it's it's actually just fine now. And um, okay, saying there are no issues is, is, is definitely not true, but the game doesn't crash randomly anymore. Uh, turns out one of the like bosses was causing issues. Uh, we thought it was the new boss, the slime, but funnily enough, it wasn't the slime. It was actually Charger who was causing issues. But Satsa paid attention while we were kind of testing to find what the issue is, and he figured out that the timing, like we always thought the timing overlapped with the capture points, but it didn't quite overlap perfectly. It just kind of like mostly overlapped. But not perfectly, but he is like, oh, but the timing overlaps with the spawning of the tier 2 bosses. And, I, and that's what like got us to actually figure out what it is. Rip Charger. Oh, Charger is not ripped. Charger is still around. We didn't remove him or anything like that. It, we just fixed it. And by we, I mean Carlos. But it's still fixed. It's taken care of. The issue is just solved. We got it. We figured it out. You know, the biggest problem with those kind of issues is always finding what's causing it. It's not so much finding, um, it's not so much the, the actual fixing. The fixing itself tends to be really quick and easy. It's more finding the root issue. Anyway, we have a whole bunch of new items in the game that I want to show to you. And uh, that I will show to you. The first one is we have a new, just straight up proper item. The Devastator, which currently is lacking a description because why not? Giovanni, can you get on that? Giovanni, by the way, in case you don't know, is the guy in chat that I keep yelling at, but ever something needs a description. I'm like, Giovanni, can you please do that? And then Giovanni does it, and it's really nice. Um, but uh, there's a new item here, the Devastator. I'm going to be showing that off. I'm going to be showing that off in a little bit. And then the next uh, thing I want to show off are these right here. And this is something that's a little bit crazy, but these are buildings. So OAA now has buildings, but you cannot just go... Like, buildings aren't on the map, and there are no lanes or anything like that. That's not how buildings work in OAA. Instead, you, you buy them. You buy buildings, and you can place them yourself. <laughs> I know. Trust me, it's actually pretty cool. And um, I look forward to actually seeing it in action late game. I hope this game is going to be a bit more even, and it goes into the late game so I can show off all of the buildings. But, um, yeah, so that's that. Anyway, for now, we're just playing Juggernaut. We're going to go ahead and just farm up. Juggernaut is pretty good at that. Get ourselves those bottles, because bottles are nice. And, uh, guess that's about it. I guess that's about it. Now, um, a few things about the fundraiser. Right, on the 26th, we're going to have it. We have decided on the perks that we're going to offer. So for three bucks, a free euro donation, we'll just get you like a basic standard, hey, I donated bottle in game again. We're going to make a new bottle, a new fancy bottle for donators. Right, and um, yeah, for three bucks, you get that. I know it's nothing crazy, but you know, three bucks also isn't that much money. So <laughs> I feel like that's fair. Right, um, so you get your... You know, new bottle, your fancy bottle for that. Then, for... Wait, okay, cool. Then for 20... No, wait. 30. We said 30. Then for 30 euros, you can buy the Sohei Arcana, which will be a Dragon Ball Son Goku Sohei with, like, fancy kind of Super Saiyan particles. He's got the hair. He's got the, like, you know, Turtle School outfit. I don't know what you actually call that. But, you know, like that regular orange like kind of like thing and then on the back it has like a little logo and all of that stuff it looks really neat it's not quite done yet but in a week it will be done so don't worry about that so that you can buy that for 30 bucks the way that's gonna work is you donate for it you give us your uh, steam community id and then you tell us if you want it enabled on your account um we will assume that you want it enabled right and uh, because we cannot, like, give you the option to swap fluently, to swap, you kind of have to tell us. But essentially, we're going to have a list of people that have access to the Soy Arcana. And um, when you select Soy, you just automatically select the Arcana. All right, that's just how that's going to go. 
Uh, it's called a gi. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I don't know. Jack shit about that stuff. Uh, well, the Dragon Ball is pretty neat. I actually really like Dragon Ball, but I don't don't know what it's called. Anyway, show the sneak peek of the new Arcana. All right, all right. Give me good and let me just go ahead and show the sneak peek really quick. I've shown it a few times before, but it's mostly missing particles right now. Like most of the modeling is actually done. Uh, let me just go ahead and clear out this really quick, and then I can show you what the arcana will look like come on there we go right so kind of like that he'll also get a different weapon on all of that again it's still a work in progress but i think it's already pretty neat and that's gonna be the thing for f so for 30 bucks which is just the price of a regular arcana right like at first i was planning on like making it really really expensive but then we decided hey you know what what does valve charge on arcana we'll just charge that right so that's where we are and then the last, uh, the next step is going to be at 50. At 50, you buy the fundraising t-shirt, right? Which is this t-shirt right here, the thinking bottle. Um, that is pretty much set in stone now. I just like today sent an email confirming, hey, I want to do this. We're going to go through with it. Um, I've done all of the math on it. Uh, the goal is to sell 100 of them. That's the goal. Right? If we sell a little bit less, that's fine. If we sell more, that's, of course, better. Um, but if we re I'm really hoping we can sell 100. So if you can donate, right? try to hit that 50 mark. That would be perfect. Um, right? But the, the 100 is really the, the big number I'm going for. Right? And uh, the thing about it is that it's a really nice, high-quality T-shirt super sick i i can really truly recommend it to everybody um dftba makes really high quality products yeah it's just super well made super nice so that's the shirt right so at 50 do you get all or just the t-shirt it's always additive so you always get everything right so if you do 50 you get the bottle you get the t uh, you get the sohei arcana and you get the t-shirt Right, you get all three of those things. It's always everything that was available beforehand as well as the new goal. And then at 100 is we're going to do the custom bottles again. So for I know that's more expensive than last time, but the thing is I'm really trying to push the t-shirt. Because again, with the t-shirt, you really get something nice. I promise you, these are really nice t-shirts. I'm, I'm actually wearing, like I'm wearing one of the t-shirts I got from the like DFTBA. Right, from their store right now and they are so nice they are genuinely great um we should do a boss right um but if so let's uh so for 100 you would get a custom bottle so let's say hypothetically you donate 100 bucks which i know is a lot of money i don't expect everybody to do that but let's just say hypothetically you donate 100 bucks for 100 bucks you get a custom bottle custom made bottle um you get the t-shirt and you get the why? What's up? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Give me one second. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm back. <laughs> um, turns out our um, washing machine may have just broken. So that's fun. It may also have just detached one of its cables. That's the other possibility. Either way, it leaked a lot of water all over the place. Um, but frankly, there's not much I can do about it right now. So it just, you know, because you've got to clean it up first anyway. So Mickey's going to be doing that. Anyway, um, 
rip washing machine. I guess at this point we might as well get a new one. Um, so anyway, to go back to what I was talking about, right? So at 100 you get your custom-made bottle to your specification, whatever you're looking for, um, as long as it's you know reasonable. Then you get your ah oh, my ultimate didn't come out in time. Then you get the T-shirt, you get the Sohei Arcana. And, of course, you would also get the free dollar bottle, or the free euro bottle, um, but you have a custom bottle, so you, you don't need that. Let's say you donate 50, you get the free euro bottle, you get Soe Arcana, and you get the t-shirt. For 30, you get the bottle, and you get the Arcana, and for free, uh, you get the, the bottle. And that's how it goes. So it's always additive. You always get everything that was available before that as well. So, yeah. I think that sounds fair. You guys think that sounds good? Like, that's kind of what, you know, we have come kind of like to, to like set up and all of that stuff. So, yeah. What happens if you donate for a bot last time, donate for one this time as well? Um, I mean, you then get to choose which one you want to use, or you can have another custom bottle, you know? Um, we're still hopefully eventually gonna set up a system where you get to pick uh, which bottle, uh, you know, you can Like you can kind of like have like a whole bunch of them and then select which one you want to have currently equipped um, Sadly that system is not available yet um, Hopefully eventually we'll have that Right, but you guys know it just takes a while Like if I had like <laughs> again if I had a proper development team this would be a lot better but oh well I'm gonna have like a nice little infographic or something like that ready for the actual fundraiser. Um, I'm gonna have all of the information on screen and easily accessible for everybody. And um, yeah, now I just need to figure out what we actually do during the fundraiser. So yeah, we gotta gotta think of some fun stuff. Gotta think of some interesting stuff to do. Like 25 attack speed or so. Pretty neat option, I think. Hey, what's up, Death Prophet? Hmm. Okay. Can we get this guy? Nice. I gotta get some distance here. How much for Pepsi Arcana? Well, I said that we make the Pepsi, Ar Pepsi Arcana available at 20k. If we if we donate 20k, then not yeah. If we get to 20k, Pepsi Arcana for everybody. At 20k, everybody gets so hey Pepsi Arcana. But I doubt that we'll get there. If I don't want to, can I get my bottle from the last one? Right? You still don't have yours. I really thought we were done with those. God damn it. Ugh. Sata! <laughs> Sata, please. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, alright, alright. Hey, what's up, Max Pal? I really thought we were done with the bottles. They keep popping up. If 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 you were pre-promised a bottle and you don't have it yet, you gotta tell us, you know? At this point, we assume all of them are done. At this point, we actually just just assume that all of them are taken care of, but... Um, I don't know. I hope that is not too far off the truth. All right. Our capture points are spawning. Gonna go grab those really quick. We're gonna fight over these. Oh, there's a guy coming. I don't like the uh, the ember spirit. That guy's annoying. All right. 
But yeah, so um, I think that sounds fair. I'm really looking forward to it. I will see how it goes. And I really hope we sell those t-shirts. I really hope we sell the t-shirts. Because if we don't sell enough t-shirts, that may or may not end up being a little bit problematic. So just kind of really praying for that, man. <laughs> Because, like, if this works out, the next time, you know, we can do something like that again. And I think it's a really neat idea. Alright, grab this. This is a decent bounty, yeah. Alright. Grab this ancient Yasha. So we're in pretty good shape now, I think. Game is nice and even as well, which I like. Can we, like, grind up bosses? I want to have a lot of cores. Like, that's actually one of my main goals here, just to have, like, an absurd amount, of course. Just, like, an absolutely, stupidly oppressive amount, of course. Is it possible to get two t-shirts for 100 euros? Yeah, totally. Of course. Alright. Is this your Friday fancy dinner attire? Great Warlock cosplay, see? Oh, yeah. So, um... By the way, okay, I guess I should get- Oh, what? I needed one hit! Ah, oh, feels bad, man. Okay, give, uh, to give a little bit of context to the people that don't know, but I recently got this email from the university that invited me to this, like, startup center dinner where everybody's, is, like, supposed to, like, show off their prototypes for their, like, products that they're working on and all of that stuff. And I'm pretty sure they accidentally invited me, but I am definitely going. I'm definitely going, and but I did figure out what kind of dress up you need to uh, bring. Like what what what's the dress code for this? Um, it's more of a hoodie kind of thing, um, not not a suit thing. Mostly because, and the reason why I notice is, is mostly just because uh, the the dinner that will be served is pizza and beer. Making me think that it's maybe not quite about the uh, fanciest, you know, dress up. That might not be the thing. By the way, what is that juggernaut hat? Yeah, it, uh, Kena didn't load in. Like, that's something that happens occasionally. It looks kind of funny, though. I actually don't really mind it. I think that's kind of funny. Alright. So, I want to go for... What exactly? Well, what am I going for? Scotty doesn't seem like a bad idea. Just a butterfly? Yeah, let's just grab a butterfly. It's not something you see too much of these days, but it's a pretty neat item, so... Why not? Maybe I should get BKB instead of the butterfly, now that I think about it. I think I'm going BKB instead of the butterfly. <laughs> uh, show up with a suit anyway to show dominance? Yeah, that's definitely a, a course of action we could take. Um, not, not entirely convinced by, by it, honestly. Because I do want to be taken seriously. But we could do that. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and just build this right now. Get the PKB in a second. So this is the Devastator. That's a new item. Um, what it does is it shoots in a line like this. Boom. And does absolutely no damage. Holy crap, that was pathetic. <laughs> it's supposed to do your attack damage in damage. Um, as well as applying a minus armor buff. Okay, like a debuff, but it it currently does uh, nothing. Currently does nothing. That's okay. That's okay. Um, the tooltip also isn't working. That was devastating. I know that was devastating. Actually, I am absolutely crushed by that. Like, <laughs> oh, and it also slows as you can not see at all. 
Sorry, my man. I actually feel kind of bad for taking that. That's bad mannered. Is that a tier 1? Alright, alright, alright. So this is where the fun begins. I have all of my items fully stacked out. Alright? All of the items are actually just, like, leveled up. So I have a core left over. What do I do with it? There's nothing I can do with it. There is just... Oh, man. If only there was something you could do with a leftover core. Wouldn't that be nice? I think that would be really cool, guys. Don't you think that would be real cool? Well... Well, 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 my friends. If I... Uh, well... If I didn't have uh, a plan for this, then uh, I wouldn't be building towers in OA. <laughs> yeah, I can attack too. Like it's just a normal tower. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a tower. Um, you know what's the really cool part about it? You can teleport to it. Mm -hmm. You can actually TP to these towers. Wait. Do you guys feel devastated yet? I get a... F oh, no. Don't bounce on that shit. Go get him, tower! Go get him! I, don't, I get a feeling my tower isn't exactly getting it. Damn it. Go fuck him up, tower. No, don't die to the creeps! No! <laughs> well, we totally destroyed him with that tower. That was so worth it. I mean, absolutely worth the core. I think we can all agree on that. That felt real good. That felt real good. Um... Yeah, okay, I mean, they're, they're clearly not properly balanced yet. Gotta keep in mind, shit was crashing for two days. Makes balancing a bit difficult. Alright. We can say it was devastating. That tower was absolutely devastating. Man, I'm devastated by that tower. But yeah, so, um... You can currently build three types of buildings. You can build towers. You can build watchtowers, which just have a lot of AoE vision and flying vision. And you can build a wall. Now, I know all of this sounds like absolute madness, and you're probably just like, why? But trust me, this gets kind of cool if we get into the late game. It's actually gonna be kind of interesting. It's just right now a bit silly, because the early towers are not that powerful. The thing is, I don't really want them to be that powerful. Right? Like, you may say, well, but why even have them if they're not gonna be strong? But the thing is that the reason to have them is just to give you to something to do with your core. And I know that the defense tower wasn't that impressive, but honestly the wall or the watchtower might be a lot more useful than the, uh, than the defense tower at level 1. I just wanted to kind of show off the defen defense tower. Right? And you don't really want them to be too powerful either because then the team that is ahead can do too much with them. They are supposed to be more of like something, hey, you got some extra cores? Well, here's something you can do with it for the early game. Alright. Alright, where is everybody? No! I regret everything. Okay. Do you feel devastated yet? <laughs> really getting a feeling these guys aren't properly devastated. No! Come on. Oh, I won. Let's go. I'm actually pretty happy about that. I didn't think I would win. 
Oh yeah, and the new bosses actually have like decent stats now, so they actually like do things. No, that's not a new boss, that's just a scam. I'm getting scammed by that one. Oh, and uh, the Carlos also fixed the... The what's it called? The capture point timings and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Look, it's cool, okay? Trust me on this shit. Trust me on this shit. I know it's weird. Okay, look. Look. Right now, the towers thing, I know it's odd. But the thing is, two-thirds of what this is all supposed to be, actually even more like three-quarters of what it's supposed to be, is currently still missing. Um, it's pretty close to being done. We're going to add it in soon. But the towers are just really, really interesting. All right? Like, I find them cool. And uh, you'll see how interesting they get once this game goes into the stage where we all have a lot of leftover cores, which will happen. Uh, okay, first night you just capped that, we killed us. Alright. Should be able to just do that. Man, I devastated those guys. Absolutely brutal. Absolutely devastating. Okay. Do you feel devastated? <laughs> Devastator is the best item. I love Devastator. It's just devastating my dreams, though. That's mostly what's getting devastated here. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Go for me. Let's go over here. Of course. I want to go ahead and uh, get some more of these these bosses. Ah, I can't do this one on my own. Can you guys help me with this? Like, I really just need anyone. Give me a body to tank with. That's all I need. Because I, I can't really kill him. I do a lot of damage, and I can make you be able to tank him. And down he goes. Good. So I upgrade this, and now I want to kill this. Right, so usually, before this change, before we added the towers, and this is really the point I want you to take away from this, right? Before we added this, uh, before we added these towers, um, now I don't have any incentive to kill this anymore. Because if I do, I actually don't have anything I can really do with the core, and that just feels kind of shitty. Right, that's just not fun. Who wants to buy an item that they're just not gonna be able to use? But now I can't actually use it. Man, that is truly devastating. That is truly devastating. <laughs> Do I keep maxing this? Huh? I think right now I'm actually just going to build this. You just need a tank creep. I wonder if you could have spent your core on something like that. Well, that's actually in the pull request that is yet to be merged. But it's already ready. Like, it's actually good to go. It just needs to be merged. So, the, the other two things you're supposed to be able to buy with cores are summons and, and uh, potions that give you temporary buffs. So, for the early game, I really don't expect people to do much with the towers. That's why I don't mind that they are a bit weaker, right? I really expect people to use the summons, which aren't in the game yet. <laughs> but... They can't. They're gonna, gonna get there. They're gonna get there. No, oh, they took the... They took the boss, though. Oh, they're killing a Lycan. It's not fun unless you wait until the last second. Okay. 
getting healed. Cool. Alright. You feel devastated. I love Devastator. I mostly love it because it's already such a beautiful meme. You know, I'm pretty sure that like 90% of what makes Open Angel Arena fun is just memes. But does it matter what makes it fun as long as it's fun? I don't believe so. Only thing that matters is that it is fun, right? Do we care about anything else? No. No, we don't. Why would we care about anything else? Man, what the hell is going on with these ogres? Dude. It's a lot of ogres. Alright. I'm gonna level up this. I'm gonna level up this. Really gotta get a little bit more money, but... Eh, we're mostly good. Oops. Why did you keep the dual high ground region after winning? Uh, it's because that's something Chris thought would be funny. And hasn't removed from the game since then. <laughs> if you, like, uh, after the duel, um, or, like, if the duel ends and you're currently regenerating health from the high ground region, then that is the only rune you will keep. This it has not been hugely discussed in any sort of design um, capacity. This was mostly just Chris saying, this is kind of cool, and then just left it that way. <laughs> but it is kind of cool, so I'm just kind of okay with it. Alright. If only you had spear cores to replace the Devastator. I love my Devastator. I'm never giving it up. Why would you want me to give up my Devastator? This is the best item. How dare you? I am... Devastator. <laughs> I'm actually out of money. Alright. But, uh... Let me grab this. Yeah, I'm totally upgrading this shit. I'm not giving up on this. I love this item. Alright, we're gonna keep killing bosses, though. What's here? What's here? Please don't be another ogre. We actually have a lot more bosses in the game now. Please don't be another ogre. Yes! It's one of the new ones! I'm really excited for this! So this guy spawns these little eggs. And then out of the eggs come a bunch of spiders! And the spiders just run onto you and they explode! All over the fucking place! So you can't kill the eggs, but if you don't, the spiders come out! <laughs> it's great! <laughs> Although the eggs are currently being affected by, by um, what's it called? Shit, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting near that. Fuck that. Ow! Currently, the eggs are affected by cleave. They shouldn't be affected by cleave, but it's still pretty neat. It's still pretty neat. Look, that's a cool boss. We just kind of like ran them over really quick. Because we had so many people there. And the thing is, like, you gotta keep in mind, we're currently at the end of tier 3. Right? Because, like, that was the last core we needed. Now we have all of the cores we need. Now we can just kill tier 4s. Um, so that's kind of why that wasn't, like, as hugely impactful. Or, like, that guy wasn't as hugely powerful, I suppose. But, yeah. Please explain my alchemist produces eggs that has spiders in it. Well, stop hating. Because <laughs> you're a fucking hater. Go hate somewhere else, you hater. On this, on this blessed day, I send out my well wishes to everybody. Even the losers and the haters. And with that, I mean you, chat. I mean you. 
Hey, hard light. Thanks for the 12 uh, months, so man. Funny how you were almost on SK yeah, that was a funny game. A yeah, that was a funny game, though. I like just sapping around with the Sand King, not dying. That was definitely kind of hard on, on y'all taking me down. Let's build a tower. Are you guys ready to build a tower? Now, it is a little bit difficult to click on the tier 4 version. Dude, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna use a tier 4 core before I even max out all of my shit to just build a tower. This tower has 16,000 HP. <laughs> We're just gonna build a fucking tower. I'm gonna... Do we put it in a dual arena? I'm gonna put this here. <laughs> Fuck it. This is my tower now. This is my base. You can't do anything against me. I am invincible. I am hiding under my tower. Fuck you guys. I'm staying here. This thing, this thing is 1600 damage a hit. You guys can come here if you want. Please, please come over here. Alright, I'll just hold. Like, I'm gonna get all of the buffs and shit. Alright. I mean, you gotta get over here. Go get him, Tower! <laughs> Alright. Nice, let's go. Got him! Carried! Carried by the tower, man. Carried by the tower. No, like, seriously. They didn't want to get near my tower. They got... They, they didn't want to go near the tower. So I got to get just... I got all of the runes. Then I got got to kill him. That tower was... Devastating. How do you repair the tower? You don't. Unless you're a tree and protector. You, you don't repair towers. It's just not something you can do with them. But wasn't that cool? Come on. Wasn't that cool? I think that was really cool. And there's still a lot of game left to go. Can we just kill bosses? I want to just kill bosses. And then just place towers on the entire map. Just everywhere. That's my strat. Does mean you should give Lich back his 50 HP region on Structure Talent? I mean, that's something we could do, yeah. Okay, that guy's down. That guy's down. Nice. Capture points are coming online. Well, I know what I'm buying with my core. I don't know what you guys are buying with it, but I know what I'm getting. <laughs> All right, all right, guys, come on, let's mess with them. Let's mess with them. I got it. Trust me. Trust me. You got it figured out. I got my tower building. It's fine. Oh my god, there we go. Wow, she doesn't die. Okay, we're being protected by the tower. Somebody go and get our capture point. While we try to, while we take theirs. Okay. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Holy crap, that does a lot of damage. Go get him, tower. Yes! Yes! The tower kill! <laughs> Go fuck him up, man. Oh my god! Wait, that wasn't right. That tower is supposed to have 16,000 HP. Is the bug happening again? Okay, so I was experiencing a bug with the towers a little while ago. Where they wouldn't actually have the amount of HP they're supposed to. And they would just have a thousand as opposed to the 16,000. Alright, they're supposed to have 16,000, but oh well. Now I'm gonna place a different tower here. No, don't do that. No! <laughs> Mercy! <laughs> Why? That's real bad, man. 
Okay, that's a watchtower. I don't think you're supposed to place watchtowers right in the middle of the map, admittedly. That seems like a little bit of a bad idea. <sighs> you guys think I might be wasting cores? I, I don't have any regrets, though. We need more cores. I just want to keep killing bosses for days. This is my main priority right now. Kill bosses, get cores. Why do we not do damage? Does Morphling do so much more damage than any of us? Oh my god! Wait, these guys are actually tier 6. We killed a tier 4 here already. Oh, this is a tier 5. We should really kill the other ones. These guys have 40,000 HP each. That's why they don't take damage. Yeah, these guys too. Huh. The fuck is this? No, like seriously, the fuck is that? Okay, that's a tier 4, yeah. Yeah, that's more and more reasonable. Okay. Hey, by the way, I have an almost free watchtower. It's called the ward. Well, the watchtower is really a super ward. Like, it's gives you, it gives you vision in a much larger radius with, uh, with true sight. Like, it will, uh, like, it gives you flying vision and everything, you know? It's, it's much, much, much more powerful than just a normal ward. Okay, these guys are also only 20k. Okay. There's a lot of Temple Guardians being spawned. I'm not sure why that is. Hey, what's up, Satsu? Oh, come on, guys. Alright. I'm just gonna chill a bit and heal up. Okay. Is my tower still standing? My tower is still standing! Go get him, boy! <laughs> I, bring my blade. I don't like what he's doing. Yes. Okay, we're hasted. Look at that, my tower is still holding. Let's go. Planting a tower and watching it grow was one of the most fulfilling experiences of my life. Watching them for rising and giving a good shadow made me decide to become a tower gardener, but then they started killing people and I was sad, very sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Now I am on a spiritual journey to cleanse my soul and get forgiveness for the sin of creating such as monsters. Dude, my towers are not monsters. They're great. Look at this tower. I love this tower. That's that's the best tower. All right, I'm gonna go in and devastate things. So as I mentioned, I think I really managed to show that off super well in this video. Is this game is it's ready for another ten thousand dollar tournament? Um, it's so ready. No bugs. Not even a single one. Everything is perfect. You know, not even once during this video did we all stop to ask ourselves, wait, what is going on? Right? Not even a single time. Um, so I think it's all good, all great. An absolutely fantastic, an absolutely fantastic shape and uh, just good to go. That's how I would describe it. And I don't really think there's a better way to put it other than ready. Alright, let's try the watchtower thing again. Because I got another tier 3 core. You know, they just kind of like... Happen, there should be a capture point around here. No, it's ready for a 20k. We need that Pepsi, so. <laughs> it's definitely ready for a 20k tournament as well. Okay, look, we'll figure out the bugs. That's what bug bounties are for. 
Like, we'll fix that shit up. Of course. All right, let me go ahead and place this here. So I know the, these this this thing wasn't very impressive last time, but it's actually pretty neat. Look at that. Look at that vision. Hello. Why are you not wearing pants? <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, maybe you should put on some pants then. Okay, well then no pants was. Okay, well that's good. Did it stop leaking water? Yeah. If it's just a, like, tube to get it disconnected. Okay, we, well we can fix that. Alright, that's good. Yeah. Oh crap, oh crap. No, 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 don't block me! Oh my god, no! <laughs> I blame that Phantom Lancer, man. I blame that Phantom Lancer. Alright, let me grab this. Look at how much vision we have. But you know what's the best part about towers? Isn't that the sickest thing? <laughs> Come here! Yeah, I got all day. Maybe I don't. Damn, you don't take damage. No, I understand that they still need to be balanced. But hey! The, isn't it cool? Come on, it's cool. Chat, push one if it's cool. Alright, like... The point here is less for it to be perfect. The point is more for it to have potential. Alright? And I think if we, like... You know, we give it proper numbers, we fix up some of the bugs and all of that stuff, it's gonna be real fun to play with. No, come back here, Max. Crap. Taking a little bit too much damage. But yeah, I definitely gotta do some number fixes and all of that. But you know, like, the thing is just, it's been difficult for me to actually properly test it. Since, you know, the game was kind of broken. Alright. Alright. Yeah, okay, so this, I don't know what's going on with this. Um, there definitely shouldn't just be 40k age. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. You guys recognize this nerd. Look at that. Look who's back. Now you may say, Bami, what? What is he doing here? Well, that's the thing. So, before, what we had is, um, you kill all of the tier 4 bosses and then there's a tier f and then there's tier 5 which was the temple guardians and then there's tier 6 which is um uriel and and then that's like then you just get uriel over and over and over again so what's been changed is that tier 4 like or, tier 4 is just like a regular and then tier 5 is all bosses that can appear in tiers 1 to tier 4 but all of them with new stats to be adjusted to be tier 5 leave my tower alone Shit, I shouldn't have run in like that. Not my smartest move. Go get him, Tower. Go get him. No. Damn it. Why can't I not control this? <laughs> yeah, I, Usually you can control it. I wonder if it's because I'm dead. I did definitely defend at the tower. I mean, that tower is doing good work, my friends. I think we need another one. I think the real problem here is that we do not have another defense tower. Can we all buy a defense tower? Like, or just like everybody as many as we can for the final duel and just like place towers everywhere. By the way, in case you don't know what that is, like, go into basics, and then in the bottom right corner, like, 
You know where the pinned item section is? You can see Azazel's defense tower level 4. It looks like Lucian's. It's very difficult to click on. You can also just type it into the search box, but that's where it is. We're gonna put towers everywhere. It's gonna be great. Gonna be so many towers all over the place, man. Holy shit, this is ridiculous. The illusions are just healing this nerd. Oh, did you get him? Oh, you got him! Oh, look at that. That's a tier tier 5 charger. Right? So you can kind of... You get to fight all of the bosses again. All of the bosses that you, like, fought up to this point, they come back and you get to fight them all again. Isn't that neat? I think that's neat. I think that's real neat. Okay, well, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna. Keep, I'm not gonna upgrade my items. I'm just buying towers. <laughs> I know the stats on them are hella broken. So the next step, by the way, is I'm gonna take the towers and I'm gonna slowly start replacing them with anime girls. That's the next step. The next step in my my secret. My secret plan to turn OA into Tohu Tower Defense. That's the strategy, man. Nobody will see it coming. How dare you not max out your Devastator? This is more important! Although I do not do damage. Holy crap, this guy's tanky. Alright, come on, dude. Can somebody help me with this? Ow. Well, this is just gonna take a little bit. Ow. Oh, be careful. Crap. <laughs> Come back here, man. Ow. Why are we so bad at dodging this right now? Ultim? Oh, this is not a good idea. Doesn't even work, but even if you could, that's not a good idea. Is this slowly becoming StarCraft? No! Like... You know, I'm trying stuff. That's what I'm doing. I'm looking at, like, the, the genre, right? Like, I'm looking as, at this game as its, like, own independent entry to the MOBA genre. And I'm just like, what can we do to make it, like, interesting and cool and make it, like, actually be unique and, and stand out? You know, like, how do we turn this into, like, an actual cool, interesting, fun game with its own features that don't exist ever, everywhere else, you know? Like, yeah, I could just make it so that, you know, we add in a million new items and they're all the same item. But instead, I decided to take out towers and then implement them back in as items. Like, you get what I mean, right? It's just this, I, let's actually change stuff up for a bit. Let's actually make it interesting. Oh, they found one of these too. Oh, yeah, that guy's annoying, isn't it? Takes a long time to deal with him. Today's my last day of school, so I'll do Devastators to tomorrow. Thank you! Although Devastator currently is kind of not working, but <laughs> it's okay. Let me go ahead and do this. Right, but what I'm saying is just that I'm trying to change things up. Like, I'm trying to, like, add in things that I think would be real cool and, you know, just experiment a bit. Because that's one of the luxuries we have. We can actually experiment a bit. I'm gonna build a wall. I'm gonna grab a wall as well. Dude, for this next duel, I'm just fortifying myself. Okay. Yeah, I got a wall as well. Like, dude, for that, we are ready for that final duel. 
Well, you can only really have three of them, so. We're actually so ready for that final duel. Redesign Tinker. Uh, I'll look at that in a second. Okay, that's a tier 4 core again. You know, you saw how that's um, the twins. You know, the twins came back, right? Like, all of the bosses that were in the game earlier, you know, sometimes they just push overs. Like, sometimes you kill a boss and they just instantly die, and it's just kind of lame. Right? But now, every boss, like, later on, you'll have to fight them again, and they're gonna be stronger and more interesting. Isn't that cool? Okay. I don't know how one bites the dust. I'll pick up a refresher really quick. Oh, they put down a tower. Oh yeah, this is totally buggy. Can somebody clip that? Can somebody clip that? That tower had a thousand HP. Because the guy that made the towers didn't believe me that this was an actual real bug that happens. That tower had a thousand HP. That tower is not supposed to have a thousand HP. That tower is supposed to have sixteen thousand. Okay, I've got ultimate ready again. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and grab that. You think you got it? Yeah, you got it. Yes! Nice! Cause that, like, that dude was like, no, it didn't happen. No, it totally does! Uh, oh, is that a final duel? Okay. Shit. Who needs items anyway? <laughs> no, 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 we gotta get closer! What are you doing?! Crap. Okay, I put I put down a wall, boys. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck him up, towers. Dude, this is just absurd. Isn't this great? Look at this! <laughs> Get fucked, Sansa! Oh no, I ran back into that shit! I think my walls got destroyed. Oh, they won. No! Come on, that was great. I love that. I think we need bigger dual arenas for this kind of shit to work properly, though. Ah. Oh. Alright, cool. So, that's what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go and check on the washing machine really quick. Um, but yeah, you're waiting on the wheel. I'll see you guys tomorrow and please show up to the donation uh, stream.